So if you would like to recrease your doll, if you feel like your doll could use another creasing layer, you definitely want to do that before this step. And it's not imperative, but I definitely did my recreasing before this step. So I definitely recommend it. But now we are going to do another one of my obsessive yellow white layers. And I didn't realize how obsessed I was with yellow white until I had to create this tutorial for you guys. Like, whoa, I totally love yellow white and I can, but anyway, um, what you can see is I got rid of a little bit of that color because I really wanted a very, very thin color and I don't want to use a lot of thinner to create that thinness. So I got rid of some of that color. I added some thinner and I added a little bit more of that Genesis yellow color, which I'm doing so right now. And the reason why I did that, as I'm looking in my notes right now, I did that because I felt like Evangeline could use a little bit more yellow tones. Now, I was starting to notice as I am looking at other ethnic babies, especially in person, my babies are very golden color. -y. My babies have yellow tones. And I, I, it makes me nervous when I see other ethnic babies not the same way. But I have to remind myself, we're, there's so many skin colors. And I'm one of them to prove. If you can see my hand, I have a lot of yellow tones. And it explains why I have very yellow babies. Not like yellow babies like the Sim Sim style. <laughs> but my babies carry yellow undertones. Also my Caucasian babies. And I truly, truly do love that. Now, if you do not like the yellow look, I would definitely skip this step when you are making um, another baby or now, it, it's up to you, but I absolutely love yellow white layers and and it, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna do that again here on our baby and we're going to apply that all over. Again, do not be afraid with the yellow. We want that yellow everywhere on our baby. And uh, we don't want it that thick this time. <laughs> we want it fairly thin. We're just adding a little hue of yellow to baby Evangeline. So I'll let you guys watch the rest of this application and then I'll come back on.
Again, for the face, we wanna apply that all over, and if you can get it on the lips, it's so beautiful. Like I said, it creates that beautiful translucent look. I love it, because then your lips, they, they're not just pink or reddish, you know? They got a little bit of color, a little bit of that yellow golden -y look, and it's just so beautiful, and I am about to cry just thinking about it. <laughs> So now I'm going to show you little Miss Evangeline and what she looks like, here we go, what she looks like after all of that work. And I hope you guys can see the difference from the last clip where I showed you what she looks like. Now what we're going to do is re-blush the face. Again, this is another thing that I don't show because it is something that we've already done. But I do show you guys exactly where I'm going to apply that blush. You do want to be careful because you don't want to make those cheeks too bright. All you're doing is adding a hue of that pink color. So I do apologize that I don't show this, um, but I do share exactly where I'm going to put that color. So here we go. We're going to add that color on the cheeks and on the chin. And that's it. And then we will be moving on to our following step. Now we are going to work on something so beautiful, something that I love to do for both my Caucasian and ethnic babies, and that is a purple eyelid. I absolutely love the way that it looks. Um, sometimes I can get a little carried away and I'm gonna have to, I have to go back and remove some of that purple, but for the most part, I love the effects that it creates. It creates more of a translucent, thin skin, delicate, thin skin. And I feel like that is the eyelids. And definitely sometimes around the temples, but that's more noticeable for Caucasian skin tone babies, or fair skin tone babies, or light skin tone babies. For my ethnic babies, I love applying this on the eyelids. Sometimes I apply it on the bridge of the nose. It depends on my mood. Um, I don't think I do that for Evangeline because I was watching my video and I noticed that I only did it on the eyelids and based on my notes too, we only do this on the eyelids. So we only use one color, the purple 05 and thinner. And I will show you exactly how I apply this. So besides the brush, another item for application that you're going to need is a sponge. So I love these Ulta sponges, um, very affordable, very good quality. They do the job. So, and you can get them locally. You don't have to order anything online and wait a few days to receive. So anyway, here I'm gonna go in with my purple and it's fairly thick as you guys can see because I want to add color. I'm not trying to add a, an effect like a hue. I'm trying to add color so that is why 
my color is a little more thick and then we with the flat end of the sponge we are going to blend that color right in I do go over it a couple times so you guys saw that I already absorbed that color then I go back with more paint and I apply it on top of that before baking just to make that color a little darker and right here what I'm doing is I must have gotten a little bit of that purple under the eye so I'm just cleaning it up with a clean sponge and a little bit of thinner on the edge of the sponge now we're gonna go back in with our purple we are doing our other eye oh my gosh I absolutely love purples purples and yellows oh my goodness so beautiful they really add depth and dimension to your baby Maybe I don't do two layers of purple, but I have done that in the past. It's completely up to you. Um, I totally love the way this looks. Very soft, very neutral, very natural, I should say. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead now and move on with our next step. Another thing I like to do is put my baby, the baby head, in something. It really helps. You guys, when it comes to painting, you're not just holding a, ba a head, you're holding a baby. It adds more realism. It helps me see what my baby needs. Now, if my baby was an open-eyed baby, I would make sure the baby had eyes in it. That is very imperative for the painting process when it comes to open-eyed babies. And in this case, in all cases, I always wrap my baby's head with something beautiful, something inspiring and in this case this is what I had laying around these are actually bloomers to an outfit that you probably guys would tell me that I have destroyed I shouldn't have done that but I it, it I find it more beneficial to do this than to put it on a baby <laughs> so yes it has paint all over it um, once it's got too much paint on it then dried paint of course it doesn't get on my baby's head then I go ahead and I change to something else or if I get bored or whatever or, I, or I'm at the store and I see something so beautiful and I'm like oh my gosh I want to paint with that so that's why I use this I definitely recommend if you haven't tried this out you guys definitely should oh my goodness the difference it makes painting a baby with something wrapped around its head then not it's beautiful it's beautiful I should definitely think about doing this for my ethnic class I'm just hoping we get this far I really really want to anyway <laughs> sidetracked um, but yeah so you guys noticed here I'm sorry I got distracted but you noticing that I applied color to the bridge of the nose and then just at the end of the cheeks, just to brighten the little, little tiny cheeks, if that makes any sense, right at the bottom. That's it, that's all we did. Now what we're gonna do is outline our lips. So we're working on details, guys. These are the details that is gonna make our doll pop. So with that same color, that list of colors that I gave you for um, lips is what we're going to use for outlining them. Um, there is no trick to do it. This is how I've been doing it for as long as I've been reborning. I'm literally outlining the lips. Um, I know of some artists that do this differently, but it just doesn't, I've tried it and it just does not work for me. So I just go ahead and I outline the lips and then um, I go ahead and I, I blend them a little bit. Right here, I got the color a little too under the lip so not on the lip exactly so I'm cleaning up but 
once you apply the color you can blend it out with your creasing brush a clean one and you you have that beautiful lip outlined effect um, I totally love it I know some people that don't like outlined lips and if you don't like outlined lips you definitely do not have to do this but I love outlined lips ah. <laughs> So yeah, I'll let you guys watch this um, till the end of the video. So this is actually the last step in this video. And it is quite lengthy because it is a bit of a process to outline those lips, then go back in and blend them to create that nice color. So yes, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed so far this tutorial series. I am going to also be releasing that video in the next 24 hours. That video is already made. I just have to do the voiceover as I'm doing so for this one. That won't take too long because that video is actually way shorter than this one because we are approaching the end. Oh my goodness. And um, there are some steps also in that video that I do not show because there are repeated steps but I do mention them for you to do. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this, really. It's been a pleasure, and I, I wanna thank you guys for working with me and being as patient as you guys have been. I couldn't ask for a better group. So anyway, guys, I'll let you continue watching the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys very much, and I'm so thank you from the bottom of my heart.